We have a bunch of stuff to go through here in today's video. Did Treyarch's Call of Duty 2023 game leak out? New images we're going to look at in this video. Zombies, factions, a Black Ops 2 menu design. A lot of cool stuff here. If you guys are new and would like to subscribe, I would greatly appreciate that. And be sure to drop a like on the video as well. And by the way, I'm actually running two giveaways right now. One on my Twitter for an Xbox 3-month Ultimate Game Pass and one on my Discord for about a 1,000 COD points. Links will be down below to enter those giveaways. I'm going to start doing monthly giveaways on my Twitter. Twitter and Discord to show some love back to you guys. So again, be sure to follow me over there, join the Discord. Really do appreciate guys. But for this here, there's a lot of interesting stuff to talk about. Yesterday, a bunch of images were posted regarding an apparent Call of Duty 2023 leak. It showed a bunch of menu images, a bunch of different stuff. We're actually gonna take a look at those images in this video. A lot of these images are very similar to that of Black Ops Cold War. A lot of Cold War placeholders and assets and menu designs and HUDs. There's even some Black Ops 4 influence as well, but more importantly, there's a Black Ops 2 kind of style here, which is really interesting to me because if you guys have heard the rumors about Treyarch's Call of Duty 2023 game, it's supposed to be some type of Black Ops 2 style game. So seeing a Black Ops 2 influence in these images here is super, super cool. So let's go through what we're looking at here. And again, you could probably already tell how I feel about these images if I'm showing them up on screen. I'm not too concerned about copyright. Right now, the thinking is that this is mostly pre-alpha Cold War stuff. Although people are saying it could just be completely fake. There's a lot of weird stuff here, but let's go through the images. Let's assess what we're looking at here because I do think it's really cool regardless. And we'll take away as to what we could be seeing for 2023 based on these images here. So the first one here is pretty much guaranteed a picture of Moscow from Black Ops Cold War multiplayer. I mean, this one's probably the worst image out of all the images here. They get a lot better. Obviously, you see in the title, Zombies Factions, there's a menu for that. So we'll get to that later on in the video. But this one here, I can't say much of any thing here i mean it's pretty much just moscow maybe a slightly different version of it and i'd be so insanely surprised for them to bring back moscow from black ops cold war over into treyarch's 2023 call of duty a moscow remake in that game i guess could happen but i just can't see it being possible i mean it wasn't the best map it was okay but i don't know i feel like there could be other cold war maps that you would want to remake over moscow you can leave your opinions on that down below but regardless here this is really just some pre-alpha cold war vibes Second image here, some heavy Cold War vibes here as well. This just seems to be the bottom right section of the Cold War MP HUD. Nothing too crazy here, nothing too special, although the images of the streaks seem to be a bit different. They could just be placeholder images or maybe streaks that didn't make the cut, didn't make the final game. That's possible as well. If you guys recognize any of those streaks, those images, let me know down below in the comment section. And as we'll talk about later on in this video, specialist characters or maybe just the abilities were supposed to be in Cold War multiplayer or if this is a faked image they're trying to say it's going to be in call of duty 2023 or if this is real maybe they're bringing back these specialist abilities into the next game kind of funny stuff there but they could be alluding to that in this hud as well so very interesting stuff next image here we just have the main menu screen black ops working title nothing too special here you know very similar to cold war the black ops logo does look really cool and it reminds me of the rumors we had about black ops cold war and even treyarch's 2023 call of duty as well about it potentially being a black ops reboot similar to modern warfare 2019 pretty much that means the same characters from the black ops universe but a completely different storyline i mean that is something i hoped to see with cold war that game being a sequel to black ops 1 was still pretty cool but i think a reboot would be really sick as well with a game title simply being Black Ops, really sick vibes there. So seeing that main menu just gets me hyped for that idea and that potentially being the Call of Duty 2023 game. Now another image here, we have some menu images in this game campaign very general descriptions here join the battle in the next chapter of the black ops story for multiplayer fight against other players in competitive multiplayer next image for zombies it's kind of cut off but it says survive the horde in the blank experience made by treyarch so again very general stuff here nothing too crazy another image here we have a campaign difficulty setting menu realism is here the most challenging experience enemies are lethal with a deadly accuracy the ultimate blank blank skill for cold-blooded players. Again, all very general stuff here, but this next menu, this is super, super interesting for Zombies fans. We have a factions menu here. Welcome to Zombies Factions. If you choose to side with a certain faction,
mission, you will gain access to six, I think it says separate challenges and rewards. Description to be continued here, so it seems like they didn't finish the description. Please choose a faction. Note, you cannot change your faction until the current season has ended. And you have options here for Requiem, Omega, Dark Ether, and then some other slots as well for other teams. So this is super interesting. And again, we don't know for sure if this is completely faked, if all these images are faked, if this is pre-Alpha Cold War stuff. I mean, I, again, I doubt it's any Call of Duty 2023 stuff here, but it's interesting to see that maybe if this is Cold War, if this is pre-Alpha Cold War stuff we're looking at, they were supposed to have factions in this game. I mean, factions in Cold War Zombies would have been so, so cool to see. And if this is just completely faked, it does kind of suck. But hopefully for the next game, Treyarch's 2023 Call of Duty, they do implement factions because again, it would be another added bonus to have your separate teams, to have different characters that you play as. Maybe you have set crews based on the factions that you pick. So if you pick the Requiem faction, you have Weaver as one of your set crew characters in all of the zombie maps you're playing for that specific season. I mean, they could do a lot of cool stuff with that. Again, regardless of what we're looking at here, if it's faked, if it's real, doesn't really matter. Having factions like this and having them really a part of the zombies mode in Treyarch's next game, in my opinion, would be pretty cool to see. And if you have any other ideas as to how they could expand factions, any other facets of, you know, how factions would work in Treyarch's next game, leave those comments down below but pretty cool stuff there to see for zombies next image here we have specialist abilities really interesting you have combat focus active camo flashback speed burst vision pulse and heat wave definitely let me know down below how are you guys feeling about specialist characters or maybe just these specialist abilities in Treyarch call of duties of course it was first introduced in black ops 3's multiplayer we saw it in black ops 4 i don't know if there were rumors that it would maybe be in a cold wars multiplayer of course it wasn't in that mp but for this thing here did Treyarch have plans to originally bring some specialist abilities over into Cold War's multiplayer? Were they going to bring the abilities, but not the actual specialist characters? I mean, we don't know for sure. Or would you guys want to see this return in some type of way for Treyarch's 2023 Call of Duty? Potentially, that could be the case there. I mean, I think most people did enjoy the specialist characters. We did have worries and fears that, you know, they would go in too much of an Overwatch-like direction. I think that was a big problem behind the scenes with Black Ops 4. During the development of that game, there were concerns from people and probably the public as well that, you know, the game was becoming too much of a hero-like shooter, again, similar to Overwatch. So they may have scaled back on those plans and completely got rid of those plans with the introduction of Cold Wars multiplayer. But overall, the specialist characters weren't that bad. I mean, now we have the operators, so I feel like they're not going to do those specialist characters unless they start tying different abilities to the operators. But then that gets into a little bit of a pay to win type of vibe. So there probably is some type of way to bring specialist abilities, bring specialist characters in a sense to the game without having it be pay to win while still having the operator system where you get operators from the store and the battle pass. I feel like there could be some way they could do it where it's not pay to win and it's fair for everyone. But let me know down below would you even want them to do that? Do you like the way it is right now? Do you like the operator system? Do you not want the specialist abilities whatsoever? Again, with Cold Wars multiplayer, a lot of these specialist abilities turned into score streaks or kill streaks in the game. So, you know, can we just see that for the future? Let me know down below. For the next image here, we have a create a class menu. Again, very similar to Cold War. This is definitely giving me pre-alpha Cold War vibes, but it almost has a Black Ops 2 feel to it. Something about it has this BO2 vibe. I don't know what it is the shapes of the actual icons, the create a class sections here. Something about it just really screams Black Ops 2. And to have this type of menu in Treyarch's 2023 Call of Duty, but with that BO2 vibe. Again, like I said earlier in the video, the rumor is that this next game will be similar to Black Ops 2 in the setting, the era, potentially the actual game overall, the gameplay system, maybe even the maps as well. So, you know, this could actually make sense here, advancing and being very similar to what we saw in Cold Wars multiplayer, but a bit more of a BO2 feel. I like the vibe a lot, super, super cool. Of course, we don't know exactly what we're looking at here, but if it looks kind of similar to this, a mixture of Black Ops 2 and Cold War's create a class menu, I'd be down with that for sure. And another one here, we have this weird image. It says Black Ops design goals. I'm going to read some of the stuff here. Create innovative yet familiar designs. 
bridge gap between Modern Warfare core systems and Black Ops. Refer to COD Classic Game Design Guidance. Another one, Destructive AOF System. And it's really hard to see, but potentially says CVG, uh, maybe referring to Vanguard. Another one here, return to classic in quotations, zombies and the rest is cut off. So some really interesting stuff here. Now this part of the actual collection of images makes me think that this was, you know, sort of a fake image geared towards Call of Duty 2023, because if you think about it, during the development of Black Ops Cold War, I don't know if there was an intentional effort to bridge the gap between Modern Warfare and Black Ops core systems. I feel like that didn't really start until people realized or until Activision realized that Modern Warfare 2019 was so popular, although MW 2019 was popular right at launch. It had the biggest launch of all time, 2019. So Cold War still had a year left of development and things were definitely rushed to an extent. So maybe in the last couple of months before Cold War came out, this was an actual effort for them to make Cold War a bit more like MW 2019, which at that point had just released. I mean, that would be insane if that was an effort there just in the last couple of months before the game released, but you never know. I mean, the game was really fun, but it was definitely kind of rushed. There were development issues behind the scenes. So I could definitely see that being possible. Now, if they're referring to Vanguard here as well in this image, then this is definitely not some pre-alpha Cold War stuff because back then, Vanguard was probably in early development and unless they had some early information that Vanguard would be doing some destructible environment stuff, that wouldn't really make too much sense there. But again, we don't know for sure if this even says or if it's referring to Vanguard. So again, we don't know for sure, but you know, it's super interesting to see this stuff here. Return to Classic Zombies as well is another interesting one. Could this have been from BO4 into Cold War. It's definitely possible. I mean, Black Ops 4 Zombies wasn't the most loved mode we've seen from Treyarch, but it was still generally a classic Zombies experience. Cold War had a classical round-based Zombies mode, but then you had Outbreak, you had Onslaught, and this could be this, you know, COD 2023 menu blueprint or goals list where they're like, okay, let's return back to a more classical Zombies experience. But this also makes me think it's fake as well because I think this is just kind of a ploy to get people hyped about Treyarch returning to a classical zombies experience after Cold War and especially after the lack of round base maps and the lack of a normal zombies experience in Vanguard. So, you know, we'll see very soon. Overall here, that's what we have right now for all these images. Again, most likely this is either fake or maybe some Cold War pre-alpha stuff. Maybe it's a mixture of both, honestly. I don't know for sure, but I thought this was super interesting and there are a lot of things I would maybe want to see in Call of Duty 2023, stylistically, the Black Ops 2 feel here would be pretty cool to see in this next game from Treyarch, the Cold War feel as well. I could definitely see them enhancing that as well, a mixture of BO2 and Cold War. Specialist abilities, I'm down with that, honestly. If they can implement it in a certain way, that'd be pretty cool. A big one, Zombies Factions would be really sick as well. So, you know, overall, this could be some pretty cool stuff here. The Black Ops title as well, Black Ops being the name of the game, some type of reboot, that'd be sick as well. So, let me know down below what do you want to see for Call of Duty 2023, Treyarch's next game. And overall, I think these images themselves aren't that important, but what's more important is the discussion and the ideas that are actually coming from these images here, all the different things we could be seeing for this next game. It's making me think as well. So I'll be making future videos talking about what we could see for Treyarch's next Call of Duty coming in 2023. Also, by the way, in the background of this video, you guys have been seeing some gameplay of Black Ops 2 Plutonium. It's a PC version of BO2. It has anti-cheat their different servers and as you know the normal black ops 2 servers nowadays are completely filled with cheaters and hackers so this is the only way to play classical black ops 2 without any cheaters so that's what you're seeing in the background it may seem a bit different a bit weird and i don't want people to think i'm you know on bo2 cheating myself this is plutonium you can look it up really cool stuff there and let me know down below if you want to see more plutonium gameplay you know of bo2 they have mw3 as well i think they have world at war now so definitely let me know down below but there are two videos up on screen that may interest you so be sure to check one of them out real do appreciate guys links are down below to the twitter discord facebook gaming page as well real do appreciate if you guys follow me over on facebook shout out to the youtube channel members as always and i'll see you guys in the next video or live stream peace out guys